Richard Luz credits his wife for making him see a doctor after he suffered jaundice and other symptoms. Woke up in the middle of the night with pains in my abdomen and uh, realized that something wasn't quite right. That something was very serious, pancreatic cancer, a disease with pretty grim statistics, the number four cancer killer in the United States, and a 99% mortality rate. But almost seven years later, Rich is enjoying his grandchildren and is cancer-free. When you've been through something like I've been through, you can really put a lot of other things in perspective. Which is why surgeons like Dr. David Linehan of the Seitman Cancer Center at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine are working to improve outcomes for patients with pancreatic cancer. Right now, only 15 percent of patients are in early enough stages to undergo surgery. I think that that's critically important in this disease if we're going to make an impact is we have to diagnose it earlier when more patients are candidates for uh, surgical treatment. New approaches are allowing some patients a chance at survival that they would not have had in the past. Many patients eligible for surgery undergo what's known as the Whipple procedure. At Seitman Cancer Center, surgeons perform between 100 and 150 Whipple procedures each year. Then the aggressive battle against the deadly disease follows. A recent issue of the Annals of Surgery published the results of a clinical trial run by Linehan and his colleagues. A combination of surgery followed by radiation with immunotherapy as well as chemotherapy, and we saw an improvement in three-year survival in patients that had undergone the Whipple procedure. Linehan is also involved in an innovative study that could help identify pancreatic cancer biomarkers in the blood. It's my uh, bias that every patient with this disease should be part of a clinical trial because we're never going to make advances in the disease unless we uh, study novel therapies. And, uh, and the way to do that was, is within the context of the clinical trial. Right now, only 10 to 15 percent of patients with pancreatic cancer are enrolled in such trials. That's something survivors like Richard Luz want to change. His participation turned out to be a life-saving decision. You really do uh, take each day and appreciate each day you have. Um, and, you know, your relationships with your family and your friends and your work, uh, you just have a whole new perspective on life.